Okay, welcome to part three of the character animation walk cycle. We have our minion here, and um, I'm going to show you how to to put this and and do the timing in the in the gra graph editor and uh, continue on that. So we have our basic keys, which are here. They're illustrated. Um, they're shown by these. Uh, red lines across our timeline we have our first pause um, second pause third fourth and fifth which is actually uh, the same as the first pause so let's look again on our character um, but before that um, on the legs I've used a I key which is like this like controls of the leg wait a minute let me show you in the perspective view so that you can see that you see that's called I key inverse kinematics I'm gonna undo that um, in the hands I've used um, it's called FK there's four kinematics and how to change that like at first the rig was based on IK if you remember but right now it's in FK so how do we change that I'm gonna show you you select your rig from the picker and uh, when you press the control you get something on the China box right here click that to find the China box now if you write one for example let me key out this at frame 10 um let me go to animate and set key so if I want to change this one to from the arm from I key to FK I go to control here in the IK I press 1 to make it on and automatically my arm will be changed to in order to use the handles I have to select the IK and do the IK on my arm if I want to go back to FK I go to control change that to zero and I'm back to FK so IK is not working anymore now I get only the forward kinematics to which I can use the handles to do some pausing my character okay I'm gonna clear this out select all shift select on the time slider right here and it's gonna pop out that means it's selected right click go to delete and it's all gone now back to our poses let's review again select something some handle and we toggle through our poses now I'm using the the greater and less than signs on my keyboard to toggle through the the keys right here now you can see like the guy is walking right now <laughs> so let's do our timing for the basic pose now here it's um it's tricky because we can't see automatically the frames but we can go in using the quick time uh, you change it to if you have the the quick time pro you change it to frame numbers and you can get the frame numbers like from this pause all the way like for example this pause it's at frame 262 now let me get my calculator a little quick I'm gonna show you something um uh, this frame is frame 262 and uh, 
I'm gonna go frames until I get this pause. Um, until it come back, hey, um, until it do the whole cycle. So I'm gonna go bam and again bam. So it's like frame two ninety seven. So it's two sixty two. Let me do this. 262 297 minus 262 we get 35 frames now we can do a cycle in 35 frames it's okay but if I go to the file right click it go to properties and details I can see the guy used 30 frames per second not for the for the for the cycle but right here if I go to my preferences I can see on the time slider it's I have 24 frames per second we can try to match it using our one second which is 24 frames per second in order to do the run cycle I have to go all the way to 25 which is like 24 frames per second now my last pause is going to be 25 because the first frame and the last frame should be the same so this is what I do I select all the handles from my pickle I shift select all the keys and you see right here all these there is uh, like handles I use those to to move my keys I make sure my last key it's at frame 25 it's his 24 should be 25 so I'll let that go and see all my keys are perfectly aligned in my time slider all right um before that I have I might have to save this one Got the file, save the us and now uh, click this one and write number two. And there is um there is a way of saving files in Maya, which um even the big guys in Hollywood and uh, and uh, big uh, studios they do is they save their files in sequence, like walk one, walk two and then I go to walk three this is very very useful when you like and this happens all the time like when you have a crash on your system and you can do backup now I have a little problem I'm gonna fix it a little quick you see this pause it's not right and uh, I'm gonna have to fix that it's on first frame this one right here it's not right so I'm gonna select that you see I didn't select it all that's why I didn't shift it all so I have to shift this one oh select it all shift it to frame 25 now that's about right there yeah that's correct <laughs> when animating um, some problems might occur so let me see if I got my my poses right in all of my handles. <laughs> 